Take a deep breath. You know, anxiety and mental health are at some critical rates right now. And uh, I, I get to step in here for Bo this morning and I, I, I thought I'd just kind of look around uh, at some statistics and it, it, I was blown away at the amount of, of increase that we've seen during our pandemic time of, of mental health issues, of depression, of substance abuse, and other destructive uh, tendencies. There is a lot going on. And you may feel it in big ways or in small ways uh, as you're sitting watching this video right now. Um, but it reminded me of a text and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's almost a, a, a don't be afraid, but instead it's, it's a do not worry. And it's a very similar uh, Greek word. And it comes from Jesus during the Sermon on the Mount, and he's teaching everyone out on, on the hillside there. If you can just imagine yourself there listening to Jesus' voice. And here's what he's saying. He says, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? You know, this stands out to me. The other day we were having a discussion about the largest bird in North America, and it's the California condor, who got all the way down to 40 Eight or it might have been less. It was, it was a small number, just a just a few in existence. And it is since uh, they were all captured by the government, and they 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 took all these all these birds, and they and, and you know I don't think anybody is gonna accuse the California condor of being a pretty bird, <laughs> but it has this enormous nine point eight foot wingspan, right? And it. it Gradually, through the help of conservationists, they've been able to breed and, and release some back into, into uh, the wild. And there's now nearly 500 between captivity and the wild. Uh, and so, as you look, and all the care and all the, all the energy that we've put towards saving the California condor. I reflect here again on Jesus' words, don't you know that you're way more important than that? And, and so why, like sometimes I think maybe we, we grossly underestimate how much we mean to Jesus. And this isn't a pride thing. It isn't, it isn't something to feel uh, haughty about, right? It's that God is passionate about you. Don't you know that you're more valuable and the birds of the air. Can you, any one of you by worrying at a single hour to your life? And why do you worry, he goes on, about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and gone tomorrow and thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? Or what will we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. He says, let me, let me shuffle around your priorities a little bit, right? Seek first me. Be, be with me. Like we said on Tuesday, I want to lead you beside still waters and make you lie down in green pastures, right? From Psalms 23. Like, seek me first. So, and then he says, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. 
later on, Jesus actually is teaching the disciples to pray and you remember the Lord's prayer, right? And there's like this middle section where he says, give us this day. He says, he doesn't say, give us this day enough bread for tomorrow. No, he says, give us this day our daily bread. So here's my challenge to you today. I want you to take that deep breath and be fully present in this moment. Be fully here, completely. Understand that what if this is the most important day of your life? Because it is. It's the one you're in. It's the one you're in. So I want to challenge you just to lean into today a little bit. To trust God that he's got it covered. To, to mentally just take on the yoke of Jesus. Because he says, come to me, you who are, who are weary and heavy laden. My yoke is easy. My burden is light, right? I want you to just say, okay, God, I'm going to give you my today. I'm going to give you my today. Let me pray for you. God, will you take today for us? Will you help us to not be concerned about tomorrow or what might come after? God, just help us to be present in today and right now. And may we trust you for our daily bread. I pray this in your name. Amen.